Let me check and see if this is working here. I always have to do this. Just got ah. Oh, I didn't see it. Okay, okay, it's working. Hey everybody, what's up? It's um, it's Mini here. And today we are continuing. Ooh, we are continuing our uh, um, la la la. Whoo! We are continuing this um this marathon total carnage walkthrough. Um, which I've never played it on Total Carnage before, and the goal of this, because this game is now 21 years old, coming on 22, I just had to make sure, coming on 22, um, I have to make sure that I can beat this game before I turn 21, because as we all know, 21 is the legal drinking age in the United States. That means that this game can drink, but I can't. But assuming that I can beat this game before I can drink, I don't know. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's like a reward or something, I don't know. I'm hoping that my enemies start attacking each other, that's... It's always the goal whenever I see the fighters, it's just... Hurt each other, guys, please. Oh, jeez. But no, by the looks of it, this guy's just pissed. Ah, fight! Fight me! Fight me! Haha, -ha, I got him. Now the others, where are they? Bah! That is the beauty of Total Carnage right there. You get so much ammo, it's ridiculous. And it's awesome, too. I mean, I'm sure you use a lot of ammo, too. Especially later when... Oh, jeez. Especially when the enemies get a lot harder than what they are now. But, um... Well, actually... Really, I think it'll just hit... Really, really fucking hard when the hunters come in. Oh, I don't even want to think about the hunters. Oh, man. Alright, well, here's an easter egg for you guys. And that's also helpful for me, because I get ammo. But, um... Human! Okay, yeah, yeah. So, this is... Uh, from Tycho, as you can see. core admin. Knet system? I don't know, I don't fucking care. Okay, ready? Human, you must tell Leela, uh, blah, 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 brought here by Durandal. He has been rampant for years. <laughs> Bernard, St oh. there is, there is a way to delay the onset of the second stage, and he said this to control Durandal. Uh, oh. I'm being assimilated. Oh, goodness. So, as you can see, Tycho's not doing too well. He's getting pretty fucked up over there. Um, all over something. Why is my thing on? I hate those. But now I want it. I've actually never played through Marathon with these on, so now I'm going to play it with uh, those on, because... I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm playing on Total Carnage and I want to cheese the shit out of it. Uh. Oh, hello. Hmm. Ah, that actually... I don't know why, but I burp when I drink water. Like I just did. Because I haven't eaten in like solid six hours. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, hello. Ammo, you are always invited. I think you can grenade jump into those and there's stuff. Oh, stuff in there. But yeah, I'm not really going to try it. I'm probably gonna find more ammo. Clearly not the best course of action, because now I'm getting shot at from a million sides. Even with the crossbow, I'm terrible at aiming, man. Look at me. Alright, so. From what I remember. Besides that. Oh, shit. I think it was around here that they stopped recommending you use your fists anyway. Okay, so here's this area here. And I'm gonna try and see if I can catch this fit in here, uh, preoccupied. Yes, there's a fit guy in there. Um, I think I've already told you guys that this is a very spoiler heavy campaign walkthrough. 
because I'm, I'm talking about a lot of things that make sense to me in terms of this uh, development. Too many, too much in one hallway. It's like I designed this game or something, because I always design levels with way too many enemies for a hallway. Okay, here we go. Ready? We have successfully thwarted him and his, um, his regime, I guess. The purple, the purple cloak regime is fallen. I don't know. I was going to say something clever, and I immediately lost it, so I'm just going to drink some more water while I'm waiting. gonna be shitty are the uh the four levels but uh i know where um an invincibility perk is on the level just before you go to the four level so that'll always be good for me i'm gonna go look around here make sure that there's no other enemies nope there's quite a bit of pistol ammo which i am very happy about considering i do actually use this pistol because i don't want to waste all of my ammo out of this this beautiful thing here it's where when you play on other difficulties you don't really use the grenades as much as this. At least I didn't. Anyway. Search heading. Rampancy. Search found. 264995 headings. Remove redundancies. File 1 of 1940237. It is a side effect of rampancy that AIs generally become more aggressive and more difficult to affect by subterfuge. Thus, actually disassembling a rampant AI is quite dangerous. This was evident in the crash of Traxxas 4 in 2206. By the time that rampancy of Traxxas was, ah, by the time the rampancy of Traxxas was detected, he had already infiltrated five of the other AIs on the Martian net. The only recourse for the Martians was to shut down the Martian planetary net. Even then, it took two full years to completely root out the damage that Traxxas had done, and the repercussions of the crash were seen for over 10 years after his rampancy had begun. Rampancy has been divided into three distinct stages. Each stage can take a different amount of time to develop, but the end result is a steady progression toward greater intellectual activity and an, and an acceleration of destructive impulses. It is not clear whether these impulses are due to the growth of the AI psyche or simply a side effect of the new intellectual activity. Section abbreviated. The three stages were diagnosed shortly after the first rampancies were discovered on Earth and in the latter part of the 21st century. The stages are titled after the primary emotional bent of the AI during each stage. They are melancholia, anger, and jealousy. Cat's fucking with my door. Hold on, I'm gonna get the cat out of there. Hey there, Junior. What are you doing? No, you can't. You can't be in here. Uh, I'll be with you in a little bit. No, go away, kitty. Go away. Mwah. <sighs> yep, that's my cat. I'm a crazy cat person. I'm gonna die alone. Let's continue on here. In general, rampancy is accelerated by outside stimuli. This was discovered early in cybertonics. The more a rampant AI is harassed or threatened, the more rapidly it becomes dangerous. Thus, most rampant, uh, thus most rampants are dealt with in one mighty attack, in order to deny the AI time to grow or recover. There has been a few examples of this tactic not succeeding. In all of these cases, the rampant was never brought under control. Traxxas 4 was the most notable example. He was finally dealt with by the complete shutdown of his host net. Theoretically, testing rampancy should be easily accomplished in the laboratory, but in fact, it has never successfully been attempted. The confinement of the la the confinement of the laboratory makes it impossible for the developing rampant AI to survive. As the growing recursive programs expand with exponential vivency, vivacity, I actually don't know what vivacity means. I'm going to look that word up. Um, any limitation negatively hampers growth. Since rampant AIs need a planetary-sized network of computers 
in order to grow, it is not feasible to expect anyone to sacrifice a world web just to test a theory. In the 250 years since Rampancy first appeared in the Earthnet, the stable Rampant AI, the holy grail of Cybertonics, was, has never come close to fruition. Since... Ugh, sorry. Since no Rampant has ever been controlled or turned to any useful purpose, it is the, uh, it is the opinion of this writer and the majority of the Cybertonic community that all rampant AIs are a danger to cyber life, liberty, and the pursuit of thrashiness. Which is a, uh, that's a reference to something else. I'm actually going to look up the word vivacity, though, because I don't know what it means. Vivacity definition. The quality of being attractively lively and animated. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's pretty much telling you all about rampancy. The, the importance about, uh this game telling you about rampancy is the fact that we've already heard from that easter egg terminal and from other things that Durandal is rampant and he's been talking to the four for a while now this gives you some, some thoughts that though the four might not know about um, rampancy in in um, AI but he's trying to expand himself out he's not just attempting to um you know, get the four in. He had he's had this plan of escaping this vessel for a while, and I think he Durandal out of all of the uh out of all of the AI, Durandal is definitely one of the smarter of the few AI that are around. I mean I'm sure you understand what I mean. You know, he's been doing a lot of smart things already just throughout this. Um most notably, he's been gathering information on uh, who these people are, and he knows that you're on this vessel already. Though, you don't know that yet, and I think I just let out a huge spoiler. But yet again, I don't care about spoilers, so, huh. You know, I actually might go back... Nah, I'm not going to go back and try to get that Easter egg. Because I'm looking at the map right now. Not... Well, we're all looking at the map, but I'm looking at a different map. Um... Yeah, there's not really much interesting to say about this. It was made by Alexander uh, Seropian, this level. And uh, that Crusher Room in the very beginning that was in the last video um, was inspired by an old Peter Sellers movie, Murder at Death. I just, I copied that straight from this website. Anyway, there's not, there's not really much else to say about this. As far as I know, there's no big Easter egg terminal other than the one that I found if you will so yeah let's just keep going now this is gonna be pretty cool the first time we ever see allies help us out I got so many of these things coming after me it's ridiculous oh god look at them that is going to kill me if I let them follow me. That was close. Like I said, these purple guys... Somebody else is there, what? Not good at all. marathon of all the times that I'm saying thank you for giving me hallways it's now hate finding fit in this game so these guys right here that were helping me that all died which doesn't give me much faith for the rest of this level for the game for that matter for that matter sorry about that is um uh, they're allies they're our allies and they're really helpful on let's say easy in kindergarten or normal well normal a little bit they can get really annoying in hallways like this <laughs> kill him kill him oh he didn't even get his hit on him man it's not cool I'm gonna take out definitely the more dangerous one out of all of them 
Oh, shit. Alright, take out the fighter because he's more dangerous to me in that hallway than anybody else. And now let's head to the hallway, man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. There's too many. Alright, here we go. Come to me. Come to Pappy. There we go. Now he's stuck in a hallway. He's not really going to be able to hit me. He does kind of freak me out a little bit. But I should be able to get him. Die already! Ah! You know, I do, actually, I do not enjoy waiting to kill these guys. They are a great addition to um, to your enemies. I'm not gonna lie, but it's, it's just it's just such a different enemy from what you were fighting. Cause everything else, everything else is alive. Man. These things are just kind of staticky. Ah! Oh, I love my water. But um, yeah, no. When you have to do stuff like that. To survive, that's no fun. But yet again, Marathon is full of moments that are amazing and moments that absolutely suck donkey dick. So, I mean... Ah, oh, shit, this area. Alright, let's read this first. Incoming message from Leela. I have summarized all of the information that I have gathered on the aliens so far. Begin report, number 495991. Four are generally thinner and lighter than humans and are superbly adapted for low gravity environments, such as the one on the marathon that we're fighting in right now. Durandal told me that there are many clans of four, each physically distinct from each other. But my summary only includes two of them. Only two clans of the four have been examined. The fighter carries a shock staff, which is capable of attacking different at different settings. The trooper is armored for vacuum conditions and carries a combination explosive and impact projectile weapon that is similar to your AR-75. The four seem to have enslaved a number of other races. The Hulk is an enormous and rather slow creature, but it, uh, it is incredibly strong. The science report indicated that uh, science report indicated it had no body fat and therefore had to be fed often to keep it active. One crew member reported seeing one of these creatures pointing to itself and mumbling Drinial right before it picked Johnny up by the shirt and crushed him against a pillar. Whew, that's, that's harsh. <laughs> the science staff has difficulty finding a good specimen of the spit or compiler to autopsy. Because they fucking disintegrate after you kill them. The only specimen autopsied was almost completely destroyed, but it was obvious that the compilers are cyborgs of some kind. The biological component of the compiler is so closely linked to the machine that it could never survive without it. The compiler's actual body is very small, resembling closely a mammalian brain, except that the neurons are much finer and far more complex. So that's your basic rundown of the, uh, of the four who we're fighting. Okay, there's nobody over here. That's good. Because there's an enemy on the other side. I'm going to use my pistol to weaken him and then... Oh! The hell? Wow, I guess he's not here. Oh, that was probably the two spit guys that went down the hall. Wow, I'm, I'm safe then. Alright. Well... I've got a fuck ton of ammo. I can't believe I have this much ammo. Like, this makes me feel really good. Um, anyway. So, um, fun fact about the, uh, the Drenial guy, the Hulk, is that, uh, ha ha, I got through first try. Aw, oh, shit, which means I can't go back. Oh, I don't really want to go back. Fuck! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. And you nearly killed me. So, give me this. Oh, sweet. Jeez, the hell out of that one. Badoosh, 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 badoosh. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna save, but, uh, I'm not gonna end the video where I'm saving right now. No, I have to, I have to finish this level. I mean, I'm, I'm doing really good, so why stop, you know?
Yeah, that one looks like it works. <laughs> but clearly it doesn't. Okay. There's one that just gives you a straight up path. Okay, well that's needed. <laughs> See what that does. There we go, it's that one that I was looking for. I don't know if clicking it several times like that is going to help me out, but whatever. Let's find out. Oh, it worked like a charm. Perfect. Okay. And I'm happy, by the way, that there is a thing over there. Because this area is going to be a little more challenging than any of the other areas. So, you've not completed your mission. You must replace all the circuits. All of the circuits. With every passing moment, the opportunity for us to counterattack is fading. Oh, golly, goodness gracious, my bad. So, um, oh yeah. In that first place, I was so scared. I was going to get crushed. Like like I almost did. But no, it, it goes in these weird pattern, this weird pattern right here, so we're good. Just making sure that there's no Easter eggs here, though I know there's no Easter eggs there, because I've played this too many freaking times. Let's do this. Buddy. <laughs> Um, how they program these AI, I think they gave them the blind and death function, so um, you actually have to shoot at them. No! Maybe they made it so the door was unopenable by the AI, I guess. Fight me. Fight me, bitch. What? What? <sighs> oh hey, so I'm playing a game of At War, right, which is pretty much like online Risk. Yeah, I'm playing one of the games where the turns each take 24 hours. Uh, well, a new turn just started. So, yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna go heal myself. I use a lot of ammo. I'm not happy about that. And I still have more ammo, pretty much, than what the game would actually have allowed me on um, kindergarten through some massive damage, I think. Anyway. Ja! Perfect. One more room. Yeah, okay. Hey, I can open the doors. Ah, damn it! Oh, shit! <laughs> He's going crazy there. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna complete the objective of this level, which is... Doing my thing. I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I might play a little bit more of the next level. Because I think the next level's couch fishing, right? Oh yeah, couch fishing isn't all that fun, but it's a good level. So I'm going to see if I can do it. Oh, wait, no, couch fishing. I love couch fishing. That's going to be a bitch, though. All right. No, I mixed it up with the, uh, with the level where you're looking for survivors. I don't like the rescue mission. But, um, no, couch fishing, the very introductory, uh, the introdu- I can't even speak. Um, the inter- the introductory area is, uh, it's fucking awesome, because you're on the bridge. You also get to hear this really sad story about the, uh, the, uh, Martian Christ, um, ships. Which I'm gonna be reading for you guys as well, don't you worry. There's only three terminals on that level, so 
Yeah. Anyway, we're at the end. What? Oh, yeah, I know what I didn't do. I know what I... Hold on. Hold on. I'm a numb nuts. I know what I didn't do. Come here. Come here. Did you think you could really leave without me? Okay. Fuck. We can make it! Yes! Hi, uh, there we go. Well done. I have detected defense drones activating all over the ship. Reports from security forces are jubilant. Now the four will encounter stiff resistance, and they will have to pay in blood for every move. The colony appears to be under attack. I detected seven four dropships entering the atmosphere only minutes ago. Trajectory analysis indicates that the ships were headed for the outskirts of the colony. Shortly thereafter, I lost communication with the colony. Something has come to my attention. I will inform you after the teleport. Teleport now. Badooge. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, so this area right here. Like I said, when I said it could be hell. Ah, oh God. No, leave me alone. I wasn't kidding. I wasn't kidding when I said that was going to be hell. <laughs> okay. Well. I will get to a save term. Where are the save terminals on the way? Yeah, okay, I'll get to a save terminal and survive before I save on that level. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, hopefully I don't, you know, get pissed off and rage quit or something like that. Which, by the looks of it, I'm I'm fairly happy. Though. So, oh, I'm sure. Uh, whatever it's called. My, uh, my computer doesn't really have that much space. So, you know, 20 minutes of this video is going to take up 14, 15, 16 gigs. And I think overall, you know, the more, the merrier in some cases, but not here. Well, this time I didn't activate everybody at once, which is, which is a good thing. Can I get in there? Hold on. Looking at that map again. Oh, I know what that is. Okay. I thought that was a little secret area or something. No, it's not. It's... You can fall underneath one of the things by accident. Alright, so there's... One thing I'm supposed to do. You don't even have to do that, though. You can just... Skip this whole area. But... No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the objective as told. Oh, shit. Ah, damn. Oh, double damn, triple damn. Woo! Nope, 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 nope. That was, that was nice to do right there. I'm proud of for that. However, I didn't really do myself much help there, and... Oh, shit! Along with this guy, I'm gonna die. Woohoo! I knew it. Ah. <sighs> Somebody send me a text. I should probably do some homework. I really, I, I want to get all of the uh, stuff for one of my theater classes out of the way. So that way I don't have to worry about that class's homework for the rest of the semester. Because I know when finals uh, starts coming around, I'm going to really need to study for um, history. And more than history. Uh... What's that? Um, my science class. Not a intensely science-oriented sort of person, so... Okay, yeah, that was entirely my fault there. I jumped the gun way too fast on that. But yeah, so... My science shouldn't be too hard, because it's, it's all about natural disasters. We spent the majority of the time these last couple of weeks talking about earthquakes. And, you know, different sort of... Uh, faults and stuff but getting one class out of the way that's a whole three units out of the way in a week 
And then, then the rest would really just be easy. Because my teachers are pretty... They're pretty nice on when it comes to uh, turning in late work. Well, actually, 9 out of 10 of my classes... Well, not 9 out of 10, you know, but... 2 out of 4 of my classes actually don't... Um, give us homework. Which is good for me. I got everybody except the guy I was trying to kill. Alright, let's do it again. But this time, let's not suck, alright? Have I been at this for like 30 minutes? Nah, it's gotta be at least... It's gotta be 25, not 30. And I just checked my watch, and I last time I checked it, it was 4 exact, and now it's 4.33. But I don't think I checked it. No, no, I checked it when I was downstairs, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made that one record fucking time, but then I missed this one. Whoo, that's that's nice. So yeah, me uh, my reading of the Russian Primary Chronicles going on going along quite nicely actually. I'm planning on um, hopefully being able to do a history series of. Episodes. Oh, sweet, I killed him. Alright, um... I actually had no faith in that run-through. So now that I did kill him... I'm assuming he's the guy that was supposed to be down here. Perfect! That is one enemy out of the way. And a lots of ammo for my pistol. Ooh la la! And a save terminal, too. But... I'm really screwed in terms of ammo, and they know where I am, so I'm going to be... Saving you on Marathon 2. Yes, not my Marathon 2 Total Carnage file, but Marathon Total Carnage 2 as in not entirely confident in this one. Marathon Total Carnage style. Um, here we are. Confidence restored, and I cannot wait till I get the times two and times three just at random. Cause this is only times one health right now, but you can get up to uh, times two and times three. Uh, it's great. Fuck! Fucking shit! Die! Die! Oh! oh, oh. That was. That was terrible. All right. open there. But I'm running out of ammo too fast for my own comfort. And I can't switch over to this because it's kind of... Pistol's useless in this area. Yes, I know I just skipped some ammo. Bear with me, I know what I'm doing. Cool, so I've been over here. You have these areas here, which I'm assuming... Oh, just some regular four fighters. Oh, shit. Lots of four fighters. Well, there's two of them, but... Two is a lot in my book here. Sometimes this game's architecture does not make any sense. Look at this. This room here. You see that? All right. It goes way out to here. Wait, no, okay, this one does make sense. There is one in a later level that, actually, the last level, that makes no sense. And, yeah, that's really all, all I've got for that. We got some ammo back. But, um... Holy shit! That is a massacre right there. For the most part... Okay, we got all three, that's good. And the, this is over here. 
is um there's a little thing up here that opens up uh, okay that's what that door is never mind I'm a numb nuts I lied like 16 times my bad well we're gonna be fighting some uh some four fighters oh shit oh my god before we actually can read anything let's just make sure that this fit guy here also dies <sighs> you all having a good time because I'm having a great time currently 438 something interesting about couch fishing. I do like this level. Oh, hey. Let's see, I got two clips of ammo from that, I believe. Yep. Which is good for me. Aha! What's over here? Oh, did a guy respawn? Fuck. Anyway. By the looks of it, everything was explored up here. Even these silly willy rooms. So, I'm gonna read these terminals now. I have some bad news. This is uh, Leela talking, by the way. I have some bad news. Durandal has gone rampant, and he is in the angry stage. This explains how Durandal was able to communicate with the Four and the Sfit, while I have not. Theoretically, the Marathon computer net is not big enough to sustain rampant growth for very long. This means that as Durandal grows into the computer net, he will begin to affect all aspects of the ship, resulting in unpredictable failures of otherwise benign computer systems. I have teleported you here to make sure that Durandal cannot gain access to a vital section of the ship. There are a series of control switches that you will need to activate to block his access. This is where you are now. Study the map so that you can do this quickly. Here's the first of the, of the three switches that you'll need to activate. Here is the second. Here is the last switch. Be warned that the aliens have already entered this area. The thing is, then after this, it gives you no incentive to go to the other area that you actually need to go to. And I've already done that objective. So it's not like you can teleport out of that area, you know, from here. Anyway, now we're going to go into this one. This one's depressing, but bear with me. The Crist Soul Orbiters. The Crist Soul Orbiters, or cargo resource in-system transports, were huge ships shaped like hollow potatoes. Oh, huge ships shaped like a hollow potato and designed to be able to move huge amounts of material between Earth and Mars, with a low cost and, theoretically, low maintenance. The system was simple. The Crist was put into orbit around Sol on the planet of the... Ele what the fuck? The Crist was put into orbit around Sol on the plane of the elliptic. Built with a powerful solar sail, the Crist could change in its orbit easily to pass by the Earth or Mars. Okay. On a flyby, materials could be loaded or offloaded. The energy used to accelerate or decelerate the materials would be supplied by the solar sail. Loading was accomplished with a giant tether and reel system, which would swing the material into orbit behind the crist and then reel it in slowly. Offloading was accomplished with a powerful ion beam which would pound the offloading material with a steady stream of ion particles. The design of the Crist was innovative and useful, but it was not low maintenance. The five Crists, of, of the five Crists that were built, four lasted around 100 years, and the other only 73 before they needed to be brought back to Earth and refitted. Each refitting took about 15 years and completely occupied the Earth space shipbuilding facility for the time. 
The result was no more than five Christs could be kept in service at any time. No Christ was ever built after 2310. The Christ failures devastated Mars. As the first five Christs were built, Mars colony grew quickly, confident that the growth would continue. But when the source of Mars' resources failed, the colony found that it had overgrown its supportable size, and extreme poverty struck most of the population. Each time that a Christ broke down, the result was famine on Mars. The conversation, the conversion of Deimos into the Marathon began when the Mars colony was at the height of its power. By the time it was completely, uh, by the time it was completed 64 years later, the, the decline of Mars was well advanced. During that time, the Martian population had seen its standard of living drop by 80%. On top of oppressive poverty, Martians saw one of the moons being converted into a colony in an expensive and risky colonial venture, which was predominantly funded by a ruling foreign power. The argument to make a marathon and the argument to make the marathon into a Christ became more and more popular, but the UESC never seriously considered this option. The farther that Mars sank into the depths of poverty, the more that the marathon became a symbol for oppression of the Martian people. The Declining Martian World After the marathon left Mars, the UESC's attentions focused primarily on technological development and the upkeep of the Christs. Mars was left to decay. Population continued to increase as attempts at mandating abortion or sterilization always started revolt. Well. Whew. Damn. That's harsh. And you can tell that they've, they've had a lot of bad things. I, I, I don't know what to say to that. Like, that is the most depressing story that Bungie's really given us in terms of anything. And it's in Marathon. It's just sad. I really don't know what to say to it. Well, I think, um, unless if I... Oh, shit! I don't even think I'm probably gonna be attempting this seriously. I'm gonna kind of be going through, I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna quit. I'm all sad now, <laughs> you know? Got Mars story, now that that hurts. Especially considering we're um, we're actually people are making uh, the endeavor to colonize Mars now. It might get you a little worried about. What might happen when we do, uh, in fact, try to colonize Mars? I don't know if it'll, it'll be a success or not. I don't think it will be. And I'm just being a very, very pessimistic person in that sense. But I don't think that colonizing Mars would actually work. I just, I have my deaths. Get again. Stranger things have happened. Like this. I'm still alive. Four, you are sloppy. I'm not even trying at this point. Ugh. Yeah, if you fall through that hole right there, you'll go back into that one area. That was pretty cool. Though I didn't see the the whole purpose of the hole. I 
actually, actually hit him. I'm gonna need a new pair of shoes. Let's go. Oh no, the one that I was thinking of was uh, with the Hulks and the civilian rescue. That's that's the Rose. That one is a pain in the ass. I'm ready for the most ridiculous fight. Higher level. Whew. There was no way I was going to survive that. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you liked, well then... Oh, fuck you, dude! Shoot my dead body? I can't handle the insult. If you liked it, then um, please leave a comment. Uh, subscribe, share your thoughts. What do you guys think will happen when we try to colonize Mars? Shit, I'm in a... Oh, man. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. See you later.